So a friend of mine recommended the movie Sex Life for me to watch. She was like, Ages, there's a movie I want you to watch. I think you like it. I'm seeing it now and it's really interesting. I was like, okay, no problem. I would watch it because a couple of my friends had also talked about the movie on their WhatsApp yeah. status. So I got home. I went straight to my Netflix, downloaded the whole epi the whole season of the movie and started watching it. Halfway into the movie, I was pissed. Like at the vex. I'm saying, what's happening here? Is this what these people say? I should come out and watch. So I was like, okay, let me go and do something. I think I had watched like five or six episodes. I had something else to do. I was like, when I finish doing it, I'll come back and watch the remaining episodes. Luckily for me, my friend at home was seeing the movie and she was in the last episode. I was like, let me just see how it ends. Like, let me watch the end with you. And then we saw the end of the movie. So after I saw the end of the movie, I was like, is it that, that my friend that said I should watch this film had not watched it to the end or he really just sat one day and said, I want to annoy this gay. Let me tell her to watch this movie. That's the best way to do Because I, I was not, I was not, I was not getting it. It was just... Hmm. Anyhow, I, would, I wouldn't give any spoiler in this video because I don't want you guys to, if, in case you still want to watch it and you haven't seen it, so I wouldn't want you to now hear what happened for me. But I'll just be talking about the few things I learned from this video because I realized that no matter what comes your way, good or bad, there's a, there's a lesson to be learned from it. So I want to share what I learned from the video with you guys and that's what this video is all about. Hi guys, welcome back to the Life of Ages, my own YouTube channel where I show you the world through my eyes and my thoughts. thing i'm going to talk about in this movie is when we talk about our spec in a person i think um finding the right spec basically so when we talk about our spec in a person we say oh i want a guy that is tall dark and handsome intelligent smart rich um god fearing a lot of times we don't talk about the sexual aspect of what you want in a guy do you understand it's like we don't talk about or our sexual expectations from the person you know you're a person that has high sexual libido why not find a guy that can match your energy or that is willing to learn to match your energy or you know you're somebody who doesn't like those kind of things you're not that wild you don't like those kind of things find somebody who is not as wild as you are or somebody who you'll be willing to learn for if you're all for those kind of things because i feel like maybe it's because we're in nigeria a lot of us are shy away from those things okay if you're a sexually active person i feel like um on your specs and the speculations that you need for a person and the things you need in a person you should try to add your sexual expectations because else you just end up being frustrated in relationships or marriage do you get it's like oh if i say it now everybody would think i'm a wild child i'm a i'm ah, to spoil it go say this get get away take the do you understand so if you know you are up for those kind of things find somebody who's up for those kind of things too or somebody who is willing to learn if you are not, then find your spec. What I'm saying basically is, no, do pass yourself. Just do what you know is what you want. Do you get? Ask for what you want. Oh, I'm the kind of person that I like this. Are you up for that? Oh, hey, I'm sorry, I can't really live without that. Do you get? Okay, sorry, I can't live. Yeah, I can't live without that. Do you, do you understand? What, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Basically, not the shame. If you know that you're that kind of person, then say you're that kind of person. Else. You end up being frustrated. The second thing I want to talk about is communication. I think um, we cannot overemphasize on the advantages of communication. You're dating somebody, you need to be, you need to learn to talk to that person, tell the person in a very calm manner. You don't have to be quiet or anything. Just learn to communicate that okay, these are the things I like and these are the things I do not like. And I think you should also find somebody who you can communicate with, somebody who you can talk, have. Um, mature conversations with and they would understand you perfectly communication is key you have to be able to talk to your partner know what your partner wants and things like that like you cannot you cannot underplay that we all know that for sure Abby. really i would always say i am not i'm not for having rebound relationships 
you just got a relationship you haven't given yourself time to heal you haven't given yourself time for closure you are on to the next person it's like oh this relationship is hurting me i just got off it who's the next person wally wally you are on to the next relationship wally dragging that baggage from previous relationship i think we should always give ourselves time to heal i'm not saying stay forever i'm not saying stay single forever because you're trying to heal but just give yourself like say okay um I need time to heal. I need time to know what went wrong in a relationship. I need time to know the um, the things I did wrong as a person because you cannot be 100% right. Except that that person is just really shitty. Because if you don't do this, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Do you get? Like, you just really need time to reminisce. Think about this thing that happened. Okay, this person treated you wrong. You don't deserve that. You do not need any of those people. Like, okay, being there, don't that. I don't deserve it. He's just a bad person. Do you understand? So you know what you want and what you do not want in a person. So even if that person crawls back, you already know. Oh, I'm done with you. I know what you did to me. I, I very you are the devil's incarnate. I can't be with you anymore. So you know what you want. You know you are moving on from that and you're never going back to that. If you give yourself time to heal, you would be setting off your action. You'll be setting off the relationship you are going into. Do you understand? So that you don't carry baggage and dump on top of somebody else's child's head and expect the person to solve your problem for you when you could have just dealt with it personally lastly this is a question more than an observation why do i don't know about girls if girls do these things but i know about boys because this has happened to me and it has happened to a lot of my friends why do guys who break up um, with girls in relationships or who had bad relationship with girls who acted really trashy come back when you're doing better as a girl I, want, I really want to know what the problem is. What do you guys go? What do you guys come back? What are you coming back for? You want to come and finish what you started? What is what is that? What are you coming back to? Do you want to come and finish what you started? I don't understand. They always do this. I need an answer. If you have an answer to this question, please drop it in the comment section. I need to know. I want to understand this because I don't get it at all. What do you guys come back for? <laughs> I don't understand. Anyhow, if you're seeing the movie and you have an observation or you think it's a nice movie, tell me why you think that movie is cool in the comment section below. If you think it's bad too and there's something that you don't see that you learned from that movie, please drop it in the comment section. If you're a new person here, please click the subscribe button down. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're viewing this video, please hit that come. Click the subscribe button down. Like this video if you like this video. Share to your friends and family. Stay safe, stay woke. Till we meet again, I love you guys.